Hi, this is Josh Olson, and we're going to talk about a very special film. This is the last great art movie to come out of the Hollywood studio system. I could, of course, only be talking about the Wachowskis version of Speed Racer. All drivers to your cars, please. All drivers to your cars. So this is a weird one, and people are going to think I'm being funny or ironic or postmodern, and I'm really not. I love this film. The Wachowskis, fresh off the Matrix movies, used their incredible clout to make this unreal, should have been game-changing movie. And it bombed, which is a tragedy, but you can kind of understand. It's impossible to market this film. I mean, you look at this trailer, it, it does. It looks like a kid's film. It looks almost like a video game, but it's absolutely not. And the audience who it would appeal to, of course, are going to be turned off by the trailer. Hell, I was turned off by the trailer. Not even sure why I went, but I did manage to see it in theaters two times opening week. For me, it works on every level. It's a technological marvel. There are very, very few filmmakers uh, working who use CG the way these guys do. I'm thinking maybe Terry Gilliam and certainly Jean-Pierre Genet. But they have real imagination. They use it as a, as a real tool as opposed to a shortcut around just shooting stuff that they can't afford to get. Within that, uh, they seem to create new ways of telling a story, new ways of cutting between scenes, just the, just the cutting between shots as two characters talk. I mean, stuff you've never seen before in this film. It was, it was amazing. It also had a real heart to it. There's a real sincerity that uh, I, I'm not even sure how they got to it. I had a friend who hated the film who was lambasting me for liking it and complaining that the characters were two-dimensional. I, I challenged him to tell me what the second dimension was. These are one-dimensional characters, and yet, there's a lot of heart, there's a lot of sincerity. It's a very powerful and effective film. The performances are, everybody in it is committed. John Goodman is amazing playing Pops Racer. You know, I think back to my childhood and I used to love the show Speed Racer. And I remember when uh, they came out on DVD a few years ago, being very excited and going out and getting them and watching them again and realizing how awful they were. I mean, just terrible, terrible cartoons on almost every level. But you watch this film and it somehow taps into the same place in your brain that that show tapped into when you were eight years old. And really, and I mean this and I don't say it about a lot of films, but watching Speed Racer, I felt like I was eight again in all the best ways.